Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you how to heat press monogram letters on a satin robe using glitter heat transfer vinyl. This is what it looked like after I was done. So relax and stay tuned. I am unpackaging the robe and preparing it to be heat pressed. I have to prepare eight robes for the bridal party and I will be using red glitter heat transfer vinyl. I'm placing the satin robe on the heat press machine, preparing it to be pressed. Here I am just straightening it out, making sure that it's flat and it's neat before I apply heat to it. I am using the heat protective sheet while pressing it so that it doesn't burn the satin fabric. I'm going to press it for approximately five seconds to remove the wrinkles and any moisture in the garment. Now that it's pressed and wrinkle free, I will begin to measure to determine the monogram placement. I will be using three different measurement tools for this process. So right now I am measuring how far I would like the letters from the shoulder seam and from the lapel. So I will be placing it one and a half inches from the inside seam of the lapel and approximately five inches from the shoulder seam. Always make sure to measure several times just to be accurate. So now that I have the letters where I would like them, I will use my T-square to make sure my letters are straight. You are now listening to the sounds of home swing music So because I moved it slightly, I'm just double checking the placement of the letters. That's why you see that I went back to remeasure. Okay, so now that that's good, I will be using my heat protective sheet to protect the fabric before applying the heat press to it again. I am heat pressing for approximately six seconds so I can remove the backing from the monogram letters so it doesn't leave a line on the satin material. Since the glitter heat transfer is a hot peel, I am removing it while it is still hot. So now I'm going to heat press it again for another 6 seconds to make sure it has been applied to the garment. And look.
look. Voila. It looks really good. Now I am folding the roll back like it was to place it back in the packet. So I will continue this process for the other seven robes that I have to complete. This is what the finished robe looks like. This is a close-up of the letters on the satin material. As you see, no burn marks and it's nicely pressed. Here's a picture of the bridesmaid in their satin monogram robe. Thank you for checking out my video. 